Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so yeah, I'm seeing somebody who can clearly see that they've missed out on an opportunity. This is somebody who also has been... You know, either they've been watching you or they've sent somebody else to watch you, okay? that I'm feeling like they've sent someone else to watch you. This could even be something like a private detective or something, okay? But they're seeing this coming to an end. They send somebody else to watch what you're doing, and then this person gives the information back to this person, and they just feel worse and worse and worse and worse every time they hear news about you. They can see that this is coming to an end. They can see that your life is transforming as well. Um, yeah, this could be the father of your children. They could be talking to your, see, because this could be a kid. Um, they could be talking to your children. So this emperor, maybe they, um, this feels to me like somebody in the past who was very controlling, very bossy, um, wanted to be in charge of your life and there's nothing that they can do about it now. Okay. There's, I feel like you've got complete freedom from this person. Honestly, I don't even feel your energy out here. Um, this is, uh, somebody that you could have been divorced from in the past. Okay, married to and divorced, and if you have children together, your kids are telling this person, like, all of your good news, right? All of the wonderful things that are happening for you, because I'm seeing that you're getting your justice, and your life is transformed. Yeah, look, uh, and I feel like this is a time of celebration for you, and this, whoever this is, the father of your children, or this emperor, they're, they're kind of disgusted. You know, they're seeing you and your wishes coming true. They're seeing you having, um, this is a time in your life where you're celebrating something here. It could be, look, look at you. You've got a new beginning. And all this person does is try to badmouth you, betray you, maybe even get in the way of other connections. Okay, honestly, I just heard I know who, the, who this person is. I, and I, I'll tell you the truth. I've got the same person. I've got the same kind of person. Um, they're no longer in my inner circle, but yeah, you know exactly who this is. I feel like it's an ex-husband talking to the kids, realizing that you don't need them. They don't, then they, they have no more control over you. They can't even control, um, like say you moved away, right? Because I'm seeing you having this new beginning and celebrating something here, making really good money. You could be a boss, business owner. You've got 10 pentacles here, so you could have made some kind of big purchase. Okay, let's just say, for instance, you move away from this person and you know, while you were living in near them, right, near them, they would try to sabotage other connections for you, lie, lie on your name, right, try to ruin your reputation to other people. They can't do that anymore. This person, somehow, they can't, like, you're either not speaking to them, not giving them any attention, nothing. You're just living your life, staying in your own lane, minding your own business, and working really hard and accomplishing great things, right? They, if you moved away, they're, they're not going to know who you're with. They're not going to know anybody that you're meeting. There's no way that this person can control you anymore. They can't control your abundance. They can't control your glow up. They can't tell you what to, what to purchase and what not to purchase. They can't get in the middle of any other connections and sabotage things for you. This person, you've rendered this emperor completely powerless. And that's why they've got to talk to a page in order to get information about you. Okay? Yeah. And I feel like they're getting a lot of information. Okay, they're getting a lot. And the, and you, this is forward movement too. This is um, fast moving energy. All of this could be happening for you very quickly. And I feel like they're in a lot of regret here. The things that they're hearing from other people, or maybe it's the gossip that they've been spreading about you, they're in a lot of regret. 
there's just there's you know i feel like this person is realizing they've they've acted very immaturely they've done too much to you they've sabotaged you too many times yeah, this person may be ticked off about it. Look at your mate. You've got some big money here. You know, for some of you, you even have just recently met someone, or you could be um, going into some kind of commitment. This could also be like a new home purchase, something like that, because this is usually home, right? The Ten of Pentacles. They're jealous. They're jealous of what you've got, and they're jealous of any new connections you may have. They're jealous about your um, celebration here. The more they hear, the more angry they get because they cannot control you. They cannot sabotage you anymore. It's over. It's over for this emperor. You've rendered them powerless, okay? Yeah, the door is closed. It's over. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And this person, I feel like they've caused you so much heartache and betrayal. I, I, I just saw the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, um, there's nothing they can do to hurt you anymore. This person may want to talk to you, okay, um, or talk to somebody. They want to try to do something to sabotage you. Okay, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like this person at any time, at any moment, like if they see, if they see some kind of opportunity to betray you again and backstab you, they will. They're holding that sword up. They're, they're ready to do something else to you, but there's nothing else that they can do. Clarify this two of wands. Yeah, see, I feel like you are you could be choosing a new path, moving away, right? Celebrating something huge in your life, making all of this money, being successful, independent, not needing this person, okay? And you have new options around you, and that's just it. They may know you've got new options and love coming towards you, but this is somebody who's tried to keep everyone away from you. They'll say lies about you. Or they'll dredge up things that maybe happened in the past, right? Try to um, make people see you in a negative light, okay? Just to break up connections. They're not going to be able to do that anymore. They're not. I feel like this person's watching close, okay? They're watching you closely. Um, this is somebody I feel like you were married to, I got to say. This could be a Taurus, Aries. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, maybe. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There ain't nothing they can do. I feel like this person wants you back. Um, you know, they may even be looking for someone to put some kind of spell work on you, but I don't, yeah. You're in the star energy. You're a healer. You're moving on. You're having a victory. You're way too strong for this person. Yep, you're, you could be in the public eye, moving up and up and up, okay? They're watching you um, just succeed. They're watching your if you have a business or something online. It's taking off very quickly. You could have just recently purchased a new car for some of you. You could be an Aquarius or a cancer, they know that you're moving on past them and you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself and you've got other opportunities around you. And I feel like this person, they keep they keep looking maybe to, um, for names of people or something. You could even be dating online here, okay? And I do see you moving on when you're in your chariot. You could be making a house move, just moving on from this person, being, being healed from them. There's just no way that this masculine can hurt you anymore. There's nothing they can do now to sabotage any new connections for you. And they know it. They know it. I kind of get the sense that this masculine is in some kind of panic. They do feel bad for how they treated you, 
okay? But yeah, look, everything that they said about you, everything that they've done, if they try to get somebody to do any kind of spell work, I feel like it's not, it hasn't, um, it hasn't made a dent. It hasn't phased you at all. No spell work is affecting you anymore. It's going to immediately go back on them. I feel like they're looking for, for two people here to do some kind of spell work, but you are protected with the two of swords. You're cutting this person out. You're not speaking to them either. That's causing them a great deal of pain. Okay, the fact that you're not paying any attention to them, you're not including them in on, on any of your information, you're not including them in on your victory or your celebration, you've completely pushed this person right out of your life. And, and I feel like you know what they've done to you behind the scenes. Like I said, you know who this person is, you know the connections they split up for you, you know the things that they've been saying about you. And I feel like you're just not talking to them. You haven't said a word about it. You know about it, but you haven't said anything. And you just don't want to deal with them anymore. Yeah, look, there's there's all kinds of people here um, that are talking about you to this person. And I feel like these are younger people. So maybe this could be friends of your child or your children, okay? I'm also getting the sense that um, if you did have somebody new in the picture, the, uh, this person would want to say something to them. They would want to say something that would ruin your, your opportunity, that would ruin your chances at love. Okay? Yeah, and I feel like you are just not dealing with this person. Yeah, that's all true. They would just want to stab you in the back. They're going to want to get anyone new in your life to leave you behind and cut you out cold. But they, if, if, especially if you've made a house move or something like that, this person has no idea who you're talking to. You know, like if you've changed locations, okay, they would have no idea who you're talking to. How are they going to betray you? How are they going to sabotage any connections for you? Yeah, you already know. You're in this Queen of Swords energy. You're like, I know exactly who this is. I know what they've done. I know what they've said. And I'm going to be quiet and just wait for all of this to be exposed. For real. There's nothing that they can do anymore. And even if they did lie about you, I mean, the proof is out there um, of how how much of a glow up you're on because you're in the public eye somehow, possibly on social media or um, on the internet somehow. Yeah, see, they just want to lie. They just want to betray. They're trying to make a plan to bring you down. They're looking at these two with swords like the collective's not giving me any information. I got nothing to go on. I'm trying to make a plan to sabotage, but I can't. Okay? Yeah, you could have this person blocked. So this is why they're getting information from other people. Telling you, you got a bunch of pages watching you and delivering what they know to this emperor. Yeah. And I just saw another page on the bottom of the deck. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've got a lot of air right here. Yeah, but meanwhile, they, this is somebody who throws a rock at you and turns their back. Okay, this is a covert narcissist. That's who this is. It's a covert narcissist. So they, they come off being, you know, um, responsible and strong and... Um, they may even come off as being, you know, fun and funny and, and a decent person, okay? But they do all of this to you behind your back, and then they turn around and pretend like they didn't do it. Do you see that? And that's why you're not speaking to them anymore. That's why you're protecting yourself and your information. This person's a big manipulator, 
This is a covert narcissist. All they want to do is keep you stuck. All they want to do is keep people away from you. And uh, they want you alone. They don't want you with anyone else. They don't want you happy. They don't want you abundant. They don't want you on a glow up. They don't want you having a business. They don't, you know, and all, look, you're not speaking to them, but I'm telling you, you got every page talking to this person and giving them info. So keep your moves hidden. Yeah, I feel like you're moving on. You're moving away from them. I'm really getting a location change. You may even have to like cross a body of water to go to this new location. Because all this person keeps doing is betraying you and stabbing you through the heart. I feel like they could have ruined several new connections for you. By spreading lies. Okay, and you know everything that they've said because you are the secret keeper, high priestess energy, very intuitive. The divine could have shown you what this person said, okay? They could have shown you um, visions of this person talking to other people in your life, okay? You know exactly what this person did, but you know you're, you're moving on quietly, you're moving on peacefully. You've handled everything with grace here. And it, I'm telling you, this, this masculine, they kind of don't know what to do. You know, they don't know what to do next. How are they going to throw a rock at you now? <laughs> you know what I mean? How are they going to throw stones and, and hide their hand now? And I'm thinking, you know, I can feel... I've got the same kind of person um, that's in, from my past doing this stuff. And I can feel them watching this reading. How you doing? So, you know, I feel like this isn't just resonating with me. It's going to resonate with a lot of you. Okay. I feel like this is someone you were married to. Um, maybe a... Actually, I take that back. You know, I just picked up on the feeling like there's someone else who's watching you who knows that this person has betrayed you this way. This could have been a previous connection here that this person, um, you know, they may have talked to this individual and this is somebody who they, who they kept apart from you because of the lies that they spread. And they realize it. So you've got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, look. And now they want to come back in and make you this offer. Offering you a couple of uh, and an apology to an earth angel. Tower moment, too, on the bottom of the deck. They realize, um, they realize that they were lied to. They realize they, that this, this, this ex of yours, possibly the father of your children, this emperor, they just wanted to keep you two apart. Okay, so this person was lied to. They believed the lies and they walked away from you. And now they're seeing the truth and they don't want to let you go. Because you gave them nothing but the best love they're ever going to find. You made this person happy. You gave them unconditional love. You were caring. You were um, nurturing. You were always there for this person. And look, they could have had the Ten of Cups with you. Ultimate wish fulfillment. But man, what a crashing moment to realize that they believed lies and lost their chance. And uh, this is a dream life. They lost their chance at a dream life, man. They had, look, you were the one for them. They had this blessing in love. They had a chance at a new beginning. You were everything to this person or you could have been. And they believed this emperor's lies. See, now they're realizing this. They're one of the people that this emperor just sabotaged the connection with you with. Okay? They're seeing the truth about this now. They could have had it all. And this emperor stood in the way. Okay, and whatever they said about you was not true. They can see that now. Again, you're in the public eye. Again, this could be a, a location change. Um, this is on the internet, being up on a pedestal. 
very balanced, very successful, a lot of new opportunities and money around you. You were the blessing the whole time, and now this other person sees it. Yeah. So you've got an emperor over here that has ruined every new connection for you. Somebody that you had gotten a divorce from, you know. Doesn't it say somewhere in the divorce paperwork that people, this that you're not allowed to um, get in the way of other connections? I'm pretty sure it says something like that, okay, just in legal terms. Yeah, now this person, now they don't know what to do. Because now I, I feel like neither one of these people know what to do because you're moving on. You're sick of, of the betrayal. And I feel like in high priestess energy, you, you know, you're going to see right through people now. Okay, now they don't, this, this king of pentacles doesn't know how to come back in. And this emperor doesn't know what else to do to try to destroy new connections for you. How about that? I feel like this, this um, emperor told this king of pentacles energy that you were destitute, that you had nothing, that you were always going to have nothing, that you were always going to be nothing. That you were nothing but trouble, okay? That you were going to use somebody, right? Because you, they may have said you were needy. I feel like this emperor, here's your children right there. I feel like they put you out in the cold in a poverty situation and they watched and did nothing. And any time you had a chance at an opportunity at love or happiness, they tried to ruin it for you. Man, I'm telling you, but this emperor, now they're exposed because of this king of pentacles, this was one of those connections and they literally could have had it all. You felt love for them. They felt love for you, but they believe this emperor's lies. And I'm telling you, they know it now. They know they realize this is a sudden realization. Oh my gosh, I was just duped out of the best thing I was ever going to find. Yep. So I feel like in the future, um, this emperor is going to be exposed to everybody. Okay. All of the lies and betrayal, it's all going to get exposed. It already is getting exposed. Okay. But I feel like you're moving on anyway, because nobody believed you. Nobody, um, had any faith in you. You know, why stick around and, and keep waiting for people to see the truth? They should have seen the truth a long time ago. So anyway, all right. So what advice do you have for my beautiful collective? What advice? Yeah, there's that location change. I feel like you're being divinely led or you were divinely led to make some kind of location change. Okay. Get out of that community. Go to where nobody knows you and just restart. You know, there's no one to trash talk you. There's no one who's going to ruin your reputation. There, You know what? Go to where people um, will see the best in you. Okay. Yeah, look. This is like the, the Six of Swords in this deck. Moving on to calmer waters. You know, so you can start something new. Right? So you can finally have a little bit of peace. You know, and not have to worry. Uh, you know, I feel like you'll start a connection and it'll, it'll go for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, your new person will just be gone. They'll ghost you. Okay? That's because of this liar that gets in between. That's because of this ex, possibly the father of your kids, talking smack about you behind your back. And I feel like it's I feel like it's illegal. Okay? It not only is it slander, but I know that um in divorce papers it says something about 
that they can't interfere. That's it. They can't interfere in other connections. Yeah, I feel like you're being led to a new location away from these people. Okay? You don't need to constantly be sabotaged. Yeah, a new home. A new home for you. A in isolation, but that doesn't mean that you're isolated from other people. That means you're isolated from these people. These people. Okay? And then there, yep, there the divine is going to gift you with a loyal heart. I, ca I cannot make it up. You'll have somebody who's going to see the real you. Okay? Because it won't be getting sabotaged. They won't be getting lied to about you. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like you're being led to, uh, like, on a house move. Um, a new location altogether. A new town. A new city. A new state. A new country. It could be anywhere, especially if your job is online. You could go anywhere in the world you want as long as they have internet. Okay, and I kind of get the sense that the further away you get from this emperor, the better off you are. And as soon as you um, isolate yourselves, you know, and, and I'm not talking about just stay alone at home. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you need to be in a different location, isolated away from these people, okay? that know each other, that talk to each other about you. Ari collected my battery died. Once you get into a new environment, that's what I want to say, a new environment, right? Where, where all the new people don't even know this emperor, I'm telling you, they will start seeing you, the real you. They won't, this emperor won't be able to lie to anybody new. Okay, they won't even know who to who to talk to. So yeah, you are um, you're about to be gifted with somebody who's going to be loyal to you, dedicated, and believe in you for a change. And I feel like you're leaving all these other people behind. And you you know though you have this deep knowing um, that it's really the only way to break free from this. Okay, because this emperor will not stop. They don't want to stop sabotaging you. They're trying to plan a new sabotage as we speak.